ഇരി പ്രദീപൻ പാമ്പരിക്കുന്നു പറയൻ ഇരി വാസ് റിയലി എ വണ്ടർ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ടെയിൽ ദറ്റ് ഐ ഹേർഡ് അബൌട്ട് ഹിം വാസ് ദിസ് ഇറ്റ് വാസ് അറൌണ്ട് ട്വൽവ് അറ്റ് നൈറ്റ് ചാലിയൻ രാമൻ വാസ് റിട്ടേണിംഗ് ഹോം ആഫ്റ്റർ ഗിവിംഗ് ദ ക്ലോത്ത്സ് ടു ദ മിൽ ഇൻ കണ്ണൂർ ഹി വാസ് വാക്കിംഗ് പാസ്റ്റ് ദ മോസ്ക് ഹി ഹാ ടു വാക്ക് ടെൻ മൈൽസ് ടു റീച്ച് പർന്യൂ സ്ട്രീറ്റ് the he lived the chut that he had lighted in fiery had almost burnt out he groped in dark and somehow reached anjam pediga way back then there was a tea stall there someone was sitting in the veranda chewing betel his robustness showed itself through the dark short in stature he sat in a posture resembling buddha raman asked is there any way to get a chut since there was no way to make out his caste the mode of address and his submissive tone were not very evident in that question where do you want to go he asked from the darkness I have to reach panniur there is no chut but can find you a way hope you don't have a problem coming near he took a dupi from the kuriya in his waist opened it and with his left little finger took out some medicine and applied it to Raman's eyes. Now you can go. Raman walked. Darkness gave him way. Raman turned back in wonder. But there was no one in the veranda. He quickened his pace. Within no time, Raman reached the Therubu. In the distance, the lantern in his house was still burning. The moment light flashed onto his eyes, darkness once again engulfed him. Raman was surprised. What had happened? Sleep eluded him that night. As the morning light streamed in the next day, Raman hastened towards Anjam Pediga. He narrated what had happened to the Naya who ran the tea shop. Madhavan Naya said, That is Eri for sure. Parayan Eri. As a researcher, how was I to re- recover the history of Eri from stories? Or were these stories themselves history? The only document with me now was a folder of palm leaves, a set of songs sung by Theon Parain about Eri, found from the collection of the 80-year-old pundit Rama Panikar. He had been preserving it for long, mistaking it for Adhyatma Ramayana. It was only today that I took a decision to liberate Eri from the palm leaf folder. The first palm leaf read, The Palm Leaf on Eri, sung by Theon. Whenever the temple committee met in the compound, Rama Panikar would often talk about how his home library had a very good collection of books. On one such an occasion, I decided to check it out. I realized that when fortune comes, not even temple committees could block it. The library that Panikar claimed as an impressive one had only four palm leaf copies of Adhyatma Ramayana, a Bhagavadam and a copy of Krishna Gada, along with those There was this palm leaf document on Eri written by someone in Wattirth. It drew my curiosity. I took it out and dusted when my eyes got struck on the phrase. The palm leaf on Eri written by Theon. I screamed out in happiness or sheer surprise. I still don't know. Daman sir, what is this? Where did you get this from? Rama Panika wouldn't understand the meaning of my elation. He wasn't interested in books, only in their glory. He took it out from me and, without even glancing at it, said, Somebody had contributed this to Ari Kulangara temple long back. From there, it reached me. Must be Ramayana. Is it okay if I return this after going through? The ecstasy that was sweeping across me as I spoke those words was probably that of a researcher of history. I felt history was throbbing from its pages. What must have Theon sung about Ari? I turned the first page, my hands trembling. As a subaltern linguist, I began analyzing the impression that the legend of Eri made in me. Eri was the contemporary of my father's father. Father had seen Eri. Although a Parayan, Eri always appeared clean, wearing white. There would be a Rudraksha chain 